This video is an introduction to the new connection tag workflow. Using this workflow, you can maximize and synchronize your connection design. There are three major benefits uh, to this connection tag workflow. You can coordinate analysis, design, and detailing of your connections. Company standard connections can be added to RAM connection and used in the workflow and your connection design is accurate, fast, and efficient. We will first start with discussing how we can create the XML file for this workflow. Once you have your XML file complete, you can use it on a variety of STAD Pro steel structures. Next, we will discuss the process of assigning connection tags. When the connections are assigned to your STAD model, you can design and review the connections in RAM connection. When you finalize your connection design, you can use iTwin Structural Synchronizer to collaborate with your detailing software. The connection tag information can be brought into your ProStructures model to make sure that your connection detailing is synchronized with your STAD Pro analysis model. Now let's take a few minutes to review this connection tag workflow in STAD Pro. Here is the STAD model that we're going to be using for this presentation. This is basically an industrial steel structure uh, where we're going to be assigning connections using connection tags. Before we get to assigning the connection tags, we're going to go to the utilities tab here and we're going to review the XML file in our connection tag. So let me get out of rendered view and then we can review the connection tag XML file. In order to review this uh, file, I can go here to Edit Tag Specifications. Here is the XML file that we are using for this model. This XML file is used to categorize connection types. It's used to identify connection templates. You can see we have a variety of different templates assigned. It's used to create a connection tag name uh, to be used across STAD Pro, RAM Connection, iTwin Structural Synchronizer, and your connection de detailing software, such as Pro Structures. We can also identify the steel design code for our connections that we want to design to. In this example, XML file, we've already categorized several different types of connections and we have assigned connection tags that relate or identify the design code as well as the RAM connection template to be used um, by this workflow. So if we take a look here, each category we've assigned a name. So there's a few examples here, a basic column uh, connection a basic beam connection, smart column connection, smart beam connection, basic BCF, so on and so forth. So these represent the connections uh, that we're going to, or the connection templates that we're going to place in these categories. For consistency, we've used the joint type names to identify the connection tags and the categories in our XML file. It's a good idea to start with a connection tag XML file uh, that's already set up and then make modifications to that based on your specifics of your, connect, of your XML file that you're trying to create. Once you have created your categories and assigned template tag names, you can then assign your tag name to a specific design code and a specific RAM connection template. So to use this XML file, you need to point your tag name to a design code such as AISC 16 LRFD code and a RAM connection template that is going to be used by that design code. 
Now let's take a look at where we can find the RAM connection templates that we can access and point our XML files directly to. From the C drive under Program Data, Bentley, Engineering, STAD Pro Connect Edition, RAM Connection, Database, Connections, United States, you can view all of the connections templates that are available for the US design code AISC. So here you can see the names. Most are very self-explanatory. So you can easily understand which connections that you can assign to these templates. Now let's open one of these templates and review the data that's inside. You can see the templates are set up with information to generate the connection specifics for the design. You can also update these templates to use your own custom in-house connections. Now let's review the process for assigning your connection tags in STAB Pro to your members. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.